Floss Tube. It's Jen from Jen's Stitchy Niche. I'm back for my 20th video and I've got a special guest. This is my older sister, no. older sister Sharon. <laughs> um, she's been watching Floss Tube and we've been talking about her doing her own video. So she's going to be a co star today and then hopefully she'll start making her own videos. So she is actually more multi craft person than I am. She does pretty much everything craft wise mm, pretty much yeah. she's she puts me to shame so i'm going to show off some of the things she's made me i don't know if you noticed i had a little oh, display of stuff over I here i was looking at that going yeah, yeah so she's she you knit you crochet you do needlepoint you do cross stitch embroidery mm -hmm. um beading beading quilling quilling scrapbooking zentangling uh, you don't, else. you don't, you do sew, but you don't quilt. I don't, I sew, but I don't quilt. Mm, I've made a couple, but I don't really, I don't have the patience for that. But crochets, crochet, cro yes, and cross probably, stitch, probably your two top things. Like top. I don't crochet very well. I have crocheted and I'm learning to knit, but I cross stitch is my thing. And then the little applique kind of stuff. So, but yeah, she's done a lot of things. So I've, before we get started, I'm going to show you some of the things that she has crocheted for us. Because essentially in our family, if you find it on the internet and it's crocheted, you say, Sharon, I really want one of these. And she just makes them. So like she's made us all hippos. So this is made out of what kind of yarn? That's that. It was recalled. It's the uh, fuzzy yarn for the babies, but it's been recalled because it pulls. Like, oh, so I shouldn't even have this anymore. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I'm not sending it back. So she <laughs> made me a hippo and our nephew has a herd of hippos right yes. he's got like seven now I yeah. think. she has a favorite his name is Leif he gets whatever he wants I, we all get whatever we yes, want they but. all get whatever they want and an elephant isn't that adorable so she made me an elephant she's made uh probably a million of these little a lions pride. yeah I have a pride of lions isn't that adorable and then um she made me this little girl uh, only three of those isn't that cute though yes and she, one of my former students found this on the internet and gave it to me for my birthday, but she gave me the pattern thinking that I crocheted and I didn't, but my sister crochets. So I'm like, Sharon, I really need this. So she made me a Lala Loopsie. So this is Suzette. But isn't that adorable? Suzette Le Sweet, yep. Yeah, Suzette Le Sweet. And she has shoes, but she only has one on because the other one is probably up there behind me somewhere. So, but she's very talented. Thank you. Does a lot of amazing things. So, so what I thought we would do is kind of a modified um, know your needle worker tag because I don't remember all the questions, but I'm going to ask her some of them that I think I can remember and just so kind of introduce yourself. So, how long have you been cross stitching? Well, when did you start? 1980 something another. Okay, so same year she started. I'm four years older than her, yeah. So I was just a little bit older, but yeah. um, same thing. We mom came in with these little books with these little motifs, and we had to stitch them. And if we didn't stitch them right, she made us pull them out, put them right back in. So yeah, uh, yeah I'm very particular about my stitching now. Yes, she is. And then um, let's see. So you've been cross stitching. That's probably close to. I'm 47, so close to. 30 years, 30 years 30 yeah. no that would mean when we started at 17 she's also a math teacher <laughs> well, let's see. so I, let's see if we were in the 80s well second grade was already 85 so that would be 18 i think she started early 80s right so yeah. it was probably about 12 or 13 when we started yeah so, oh, so. it's been a few years it's been a long time yeah. and we all three of us we have another sister bridget who's been on one of my other videos um we all three cross stitch but she and i really do more crafting. Bridget does a lot of talking. So yes. she's a painter in our family. She yeah, she she's really painting. good at painting ceramics. So yeah. She um I've been listening to Anne of Green Gables on Audible and oh my gosh, that is Bridget. <laughs> she just talks and talks and talks. I called Bridget today. I said, I'm listening to a book and it's you. She's I'm like, I hope I don't offend you, but it's Anne of Green Gables. And she's like, Yeah, that's me. Yeah. So um let's see. Who's your favorite designer? Well I like Lizzie Kate and I like um, Country Cottage Needle Needlework and Razor Roost, of course. Yes. And um, Bit Creek. I usually have a lot of those. Yeah, you do a lot of those. I do a lot of uh, 
what are they called? Where the they rows. Have, the rows. They yeah. do a lot of rows where they have like little houses and stuff like that or little farm themes and stuff like that. And you've you've cross stitched you cross stitch a lot of things. I cross She's stitched. done Teresa Winsler. Oh, and she'll yeah. I mean she'll cross stitch I'm talking about crochet. She has cross stitched a full coverage scene of a lighthouse for me. She's done one of the Teresa Winslers for my husband. Right. I, the only thing I don't do is samplers. I just don't. You don't do samplers. I don't do samplers. Well, I've got a Rob, I've got a. Um, is it Little House Needlework? Yeah. Robin Hood sampler that I have that I'm working on. All I have is the top border done, and <laughs> yeah. that was what when we went to Silver Needle. That's when I started it. Oh wow, that's so been, it's been a long time. About four years ago. But so. it's in the pile of to be finished this year. Yeah. But we get together probably once a month. I mean, she lives like right up the road from me. But yeah. she, we get together with our other sister and our friends and cross stitch and do whatever. But you like any kind of craft, right? Right now I'm doing the uh, diamond dots. My cousin Liz bought me one for my birthday. And it's a big, it's big, and I'm working on that right now. Yeah. So. Okay. Let me think of another question. What is your favorite TV show? Uh the NCIS series yeah. is my favorite TV show. All three of them. Well, uh, New Orleans and the regular NCIS are my favorites. And then I love Lethal, Lethal Weapon right now. With, no, really? Um, uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name. I don't, I don't watch. Um, I only watch Floss 2. He's one of the brothers, Wayne brothers. Okay. Yeah, they're hilarious. And then what's your favorite movie? Mm, Princess Bride is like my favorite movie. And the pirate movie is my favorite movie. <laughs> So, I don't even know if they let people watch that anymore. <laughs> you have to look for it on the internet. You can't buy it. Okay. And um, what's your favorite book? Um, right now it's the Harry Potter series. I'm really enjoying the Harry Potter series. I am reading the um, House of Night series. I've never heard of that. That's a, you turn into a vampire. Oh. You're infected and you turn into a vampire. And then you you can die if you don't turn to a full vampire. Okay. Yeah, you know, that's Teen book, you know. And what's one word that would describe you? Mediator? Yeah. That's a good one. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always trying to make everybody happy. happy. Yes, she does. She's always trying to make everybody happy, even if it doesn't make her happy. Exactly. And when Sharon ain't happy. It's not good. <laughs> no, it's not good. <laughs> but, but when Sharon gets unhappy, it's not, it doesn't happen often. But, no, you know. no, no. She's very kind of level. I tried to. So, yeah. Now, so what we're going to do, um, I have had made a list of things to do, uh, to go through. So we're going to kind of go through them and kind of go back and forth. So first of all, the chickens are great. Um, if you want to see videos, Teresa has been making videos and she puts them on all of her videos. I may put something at the end of this one, but they're doing great. They're in their new pen in the garden, which I know some people are, don't put them in the garden, but they're they're still within their pen, so well, they're the, all... The, the fixer-upper lady put hers in the garden to eat all the bugs off of her. I know. That's what I'm thinking. But they're doing great. I am started feeding them mealworms mm -hmm. as a treat, and now they won't eat their feet. <laughs> they show up, and when I walk up, there's two of them that come right up to them, and they're like, where's our worms? That's Where? like Sam and his doggy bones. Yeah, so. Um, and then Sally's doing fine. She, I, we're... Nicole, I'm still not feeding her anything but dog food. She's not very happy about it, but you'll be proud of me. Only her dog food, no human food. She looked very offended when I reminded her that she was a dog and not a human. <laughs> she got down, walked away. She was not happy, but I'm not feeding her anything she's not supposed to. Um, giveaway winners. So I've contacted, the, or I've commented on the two winners from my 18th video. And the winners for the Christmas at Hollyberry Farm chart was Regina Thompson. I haven't heard from her yet, so if um, Regina, if you're watching this, if you just go to the video chapter eight, I mean not chapter eighteen, the video eighteen, and go to your comment, you should see it. Um, or you can comment on this video, and I'll send you the information again. And then um, the winner for the Ose Can You See um, pack that comes with the 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 chart, the pins, the fabric, and the um, project bag that I made was Ladybug Owl, and she's already contacted me, so I should, you know, we've got that all worked out. Um, so that was fun. I had a lot of comments, which was great. Um, I was not very good at going back and, and commenting on everybody's comments because it got kind of crazy and um, things were going on at work and then 
here and everything so I'm sorry I'm trying to be better about responding to everybody's comments and I'm actually starting to sit my computer down next to me while I'm watching floss tube um, on my television and trying to comment as I'm going through people's videos because I know a lot of people have said this when you're watching it on your television it's hard to comment so I either write down what I want to comment or I have my computer there and comment so I've been trying to do better about that now we're going to move into our progress so June has been we both did stitch mania yes she is just as crazy as I am about doing starts it, it, nothing phases her either it's not a big deal to start new things. No, it's not yeah. a big deal. It's the finishing that's the hard part. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But she's, you know, she did Stitch Mania. I did 18 projects in 18 days. Yeah, and then um, you got, you got your cross-stitch whips, and then you got your other whips too, right? Yeah. But anyway, that's yeah. another story. But she, um, so how many, do you know how many whips do you have? Cross-stitch whips I have now are 45. I counted them up. Oh, um, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, there were 18 this time, and then there were, the rest of them were from... All the way back to 2015 or whenever we oh, went we to Silver, Silver Needle. Needle. Yeah. Um, I counted mine up last night. So I went through and on my X Stitch app and I updated everything. And um, even with all of the starts from Mania, which I did 29 starts in Mania, mm -hmm. I have 99 whips right That's now. Not bad. That's Good not job. bad. So June has been monogamous June, where I'm just focusing on one project and finishing it. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy when you do that and realize how close I am to finishing so many of these. I have finished 11 projects in June. Yeah, I was jealous. Yeah, tell the story. I think that's funny. So she was talking about how she had done 11 projects, and I thought she said, no, you said 20. No, it was 11 projects, and, and I thought she said in a year. And I was like, oh, I beat you, I beat you. I have 22. And then when we looked, no, I had 24. And she had 26 for the year. She only did 11 in the month. I was like, darn. I'm very competitive. She usually, well, she usually does more than I do yeah. when you finish. But um, I did, a, you know, my goal this month, as hers was monogamous. Mine was I wanted to finish. I wanted to try to finish 18 this month. And I have nine finishes now. That's but we good. still have the weekend. Yeah, November. we're going to retreat. So I might be able to knock out a few more of those. Yeah. So that'll be great. But I don't think I'm going to make 18. I was trying, but I don't have enough little ones to do that. All right. So I'm going, you want to show your, your finishes? Yeah. I think these are my finishes for the month. Well, okay. These are some of my finishes for the month. And she does cute stuff too. So here's the first one. It is heart and hand, I think. Yeah. Uh, Curio ladybug. That is so cute. And um, the, the fabric, I um, it's eight o'clock cloth. A little bit. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It's eight of cloth, uh, 18 count, and I hand dyed it for another project and didn't like the color for that project. You'll see the other project in a minute, but it looked really cute with this one. That is really, and that's, that is good on that one. I like that. Do you have any more of that fabric? Yes. Okay. Right. And then this is from Cross Eyed Cricket. It's uh, Broad Stripes and Bright Stars. Bright Stars was the name of the booklet and it is actually the name of this particular picture and I really like the flag like this. I've done, this is like the second type that I've done this way. I did a needle point like as a that. star. Yeah. As a star. And um, Jennifer says this is millennial. Yeah it's millennial blue. I think it's a it is a 32 count linen because I did my boys um, Christmas stockings on that. But it's not even available anymore. And I don't know what I had the project for but it's perfect and I'm going to finish the other stars in that one. And honestly, I think Teresa had ordered that in for me. Uh -huh. And so when you bought the rest of it, she was probably happy. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you can't get it anymore. And I've actually had people contact me. No, you can't. Okay. So this was one of my, well, the Broad Stripes and Broad Stars was one of my Stitch Manias. Um, and the Ladybug was one of my Stitch Manias. And then this was another Stitch Mania. Um, it's Pins and Needles, or Needles and Pins, from Teresa. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. And I was thinking I was stitching it on 8 o'clock. And Jennifer goes, no, that's hard danger. And I'm like, and I did it over one with two threads. That's yeah, 22 count. She thought it, you thought it was something like 18 or I something. I thought it was 18 count. Yeah. And I did two threads over one for hard danger. So it's really doing. cute, though. It is. And I'm going to do the other, there's two pictures, or uh, two patterns in the, the chart. And I'm going to do the other pattern and make both of them. Yeah, that's cute. And then here's my nemesis. <laughs> I love it. I love Teresa, like I said. 
I started this back last May. Wow, it's so year pretty ago. though. And I just got hung up on the pants with the yellow stars. That took me forever to do. I don't know why it took me forever to do, but it did. Sharon stitches everything twice. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do switch, stitch everything twice. I'll tell you about the next one in a minute. But this fabric is a silk weaver. Probably a solo. I know. I no, think that, that is. Like a, what is that? Stormy Night or Stormy, something yeah. like This was, we both did the silk weaver fabric of the month back in 2006, 2007. Yes. But this is Sam's socks and socks, shorts and such from Raise the Roof. It's one of Teresa's clotheslines. Clotheslines, yes. It's so. really pretty. And did you use the call for threads, or is that DMC? That's DMC. I did yeah, DMC. That's good. DMC, and um, I do have the buttons. I just haven't put them on there, and it's too late to get the buttons on into to the framer before Fourth of July. So. Oh well. And so this is my major project. One of my major projects that I'm going to do. I'm doing the uh, Virtues by um, Little. Little House Needlework. And then the Sinners by Country Cottage Needlework. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm copying off of Little Yellow House Crafts. Crafts. Her pattern, the way she's doing it. So, of course, I had to put the border in for that one twice. Um, <laughs> and that's all I've done on that one. But this one is um, the project that I originally had dyed that green fabric for. And I don't know what it's called. And I didn't like the color of that green with the houses. So I went back and bought um, another thing of 18 count Ada and re-dyed it a different green, which I love. And I'm doing the Country Cottage Main Street. Yeah. But I didn't want to do it in a row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, as you can see, a uh, town square. And I haven't really decided. I want to do. A, think I want to do a sampler in the middle, but I'm going to do all the houses around that square. And then in the corners, I'm going to do um, some little motifs, like up here next to the, right here next to the uh, flower shop, I'm going to put a little gardening area here. But I have to put the houses in first to see how big um, that area is going to be. That is really cute. Of course, I put the, the box in three times. <laughs> three. <laughs> three times. The first time, I put it too close to the edge. The second time, I put it too far away. And then the third time, I got it right. There you go. So, um, but the thing is, when I did it, I put it in with the border included. So, I actually have too much fabric because I, I'm supposed to be putting her border on the top as well. It's really cute, though. The colors do look good on this. I really like the colors with that. So, I'm really happy with that. So, those have been my finishes. Well, the, most of my finishes for this month. Um, I still have a couple more, but these were the ones that were the latest. Finishes. So, you didn't bring any of your whips, but what are you going to work on next? Um, right now, I'm working on Ose. Can you see? Because I have to get that finished oh, yeah. soon. And then I'm and going to... right there if you want to show it what it's going to look what like. Gonna look like. <laughs> so, all I have is the three little fishes, the um, submarine, and the top border done. But I'm going to work on that. Um, right now, two little boys are at my house. My two nephews, uh, Tucker and Ty no, Tyler and Leif, and they're watching the Lorax. So okay. you can't stitch with the little boys no. sitting next to you. So Is Bridget coming to pick up Tyler today? Uh, Tim was pulling in as I was pulling out. All right. So I have, I'm not going to show the ones that I showed last in my last video. So I had a few finishes I showed in my last video. So other things I've finished since my last video include... This is my pink rose from Blackbird Design. Pretty. Isn't that cute? It was originally stitched on a polka dot fabric, but I'm not a polka dot kind of yeah, girl. I like that. I love that. And then this is from In Friendship's Way. We've all seen several of these. People are stitching these. And I've already done this. If you'll lean that way, Sharon, you can see the box right above her shoulder, right there. So I finished that one. So I stitched this one. And it's called Welcome, Dear August. And I think it's so cute. That is cute. Let me move it this way. There you go. Cute, cute. I finished Mary Noel from With Thy Needle and Thread or Brenda Gervais. Beautiful. And this is all substituted from limited edition threads from General Art. So I'm trying to use up some of my thread stash. I haven't started that yet. So this is... <laughs> Mm, this way. Mary Noel. So, um, 
and, and all of these have been finished in June. So I didn't start them in June. Some of them I started in 2016, but I finished them in June. Um, this is from The Gift is Small. It's another Blackbird design. And I finished the peacock's tail. So that's what that looks like. It's very bright, but I like it. I like it. I like the peacock. And then another finish was Stacy Nash 4 and 20 Blackbirds project roll or pocket roll. And I stitched this. This is on a silk weaver. That's a like a Monaco or whatever. It's an even weave. In yeah. It. yeah. And so I don't know. Here, let me hold up. And this is just, again, threads out of my limited edition. It was just two different threads. So I thought it was really pretty. I don't know how I'm going to finish it. Now this one was a mania start, and this is what I was saying on one video. You have to be strategic. Mm -hmm. If you want to finish what you, you know, these mania starts, you pick small ones every now and then. That's what I did. So I did this Ort basket from Brenda Gervais. I started it in mania, but now I've finished it. So cute. And I've actually painted the little basket, so hopefully I can get that finished over the next week or so. Um, yeah. And then this last one I'm going to show you is a Plum Street design. It's Harvest Delivery. And this one, this, all this has been killing the hardest time stitching that. And I would stitch on it and get nowhere. And so this, doing this um, monogamous, I'm like, you got to get it done because you can't move on to anything else. So I start, once I got through all those flowers, the horse was fun and I changed it up. So this is stitched on a 32 count silk weaver from my stash. I have no idea what it is. And I didn't want a white horse, so I changed him to a gray. And I think it is so cute. He reminds me of the horses from Cinderella. Yes, he does. And I, the gray that I used is one from um, Victorian Motto. We all love this thread. It's early Cape Cod. And the horses in um, Frozen have the, oh, the, have the little thing like that yeah. on there. But I just thought that was really cute. And I'm going to finish this as a pillow, most likely. Pretty. So those are my finishes for June so far. Um, on here it says whips 13, and I have no idea what that means. Their next 13? Months? Oh, I did pick out 13 different things to take with me to the retreat, and I'll work on those. I was like, I was trying to be a good, good person and just pick you know, a little bit or a little bit, and Bridget's like, take the whole bag. I'm like, okay, I'm taking the whole bag. 45, well, no, it's not 45 whips anymore. There's like 12 or 13 out of that, so. Well, I'm taking them I'm all. taking what's in the bag, so, and I'm going to switch every hour. I don't do monogamous at the um, retreats. Well, if I'm close to the end, I might be monogamous for two hours, because, you know, I have a Cheater. couple of them that are really close. I like Teresa does that too. Teresa's like, I'm going to participate. And then when she turned around, she's like, I'm not going to move on. I'm no, like, no, I'll, I'll move on. But if I'm, I mean, if I'm like right there, I can't stop. Yeah. Well, you know, how it is. You know I'm a rule follower. I right. set rules and then I follow the rules. <laughs> See, I set rules and then I break them. Yeah. So, you know. So, my haul is just so most of you know, Brenda Gervais released um, several things and then I got them in my shop and then I kept <laughs> some of them because I. Probably stitch more Brenda Gervais than anything. I love her stuff. So her new things are strawberries and stripes. And that it includes the instructions for making the little basket. This is second in a series that she's done of these. Um, a reproduction sampler called Betsy Snyder. I love the colors. That's cute. And then Farmyard Parade. So this is Oli and Aura Woolson. So she had one of, that include these two. It's called Have You Any Wool, I believe, is the first one. Um, but I just think this is cute. They are adorable. Plus, she's got a chicken in her basket and cool. a chicken standing on the basket. Um, another one was Queen of the Needle with her big tomato. And then that's not. And then the other thing I had to have from the new releases was Plum Street Snort Stack. It's pigs. Oh, it's like, you know I love pigs. Oh, that's cute. It's pigs with a little bee on that's it. That's a pig too? Yeah, one, two, three pigs. Okay. Cool. They're very interesting. They have little flowers in their snouts. Oh, okay. I was like, so, 
So that's some of my haul. And then I got, what is it? Let me see. I got something in the mail. But I got the one of the newest Just Nan, the little um, scissor roll thing. I'm, I'm a big fan of Just Nan. I just, I mean, I buy her. Yeah. I've yeah. done quite a few of her things, but I have more bought than stitched. Yeah. Well, I like her little mice and little animals. Yeah. And that's one of them. It's a little mouse sitting on a little needle roll. So... Um, when I went stopped at Marlene's um, back in May, she didn't have any, so she mailed it to me. So thank you, Marlene. All right, so we talked about hall retreat. I am so excited about going on the retreat. I am. I need a break. I need a break. Yeah. Um. My, the funny thing is, I am teaching a June class. I teach math at the community college, and um, I'm teaching a class this semester. Uh, we started. Uh, the first Monday in June, yeah. which was like the fourth, and our final, you know, I gave a test today, poor babies. I taught the lecture on Wednesday and Thursday of last week. We don't have class on Friday. We took a test today. I'm teaching three sections tomorrow, and they're taking their final on Wednesday, and then we're going on the treat on yeah. the treat on Thursday. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go. I love going to the retreat. Retreat. I love Katrina. She's so much fun. She is. She's a sweetie. So we leave. Very early on Thursday, because I want to stop at Marlene's. I want them to see Marlene's shop, so Cross Stitch Peddler in Decatur, Alabama. And and I'm, you look, Jennifer and I go on trips, and she's like, okay, we have to hit every McDonald's between here and wherever we're going. Okay, we're going to hit every McDonald's. That was a long time. That was, it was 22 a long time. years ago. But if she, no, whatever actually, she, it was 20 years ago, because I was pregnant with Nicholas. But if she, whatever she says, we're going to hit all these stores in between here and here, all right, we're hitting all those stores between, so... We went down to Bonita Beach, Florida, and right. that's when they were doing the Beanie Baby Minis, the Baby Mini, or whatever, yeah. at McDonald's. And Nick uh, Patrick was three at that time, and we were collecting them. And so we stopped at every McDonald's. We stopped at every McDonald's. If there was a McDonald's within a mile, we stopped. And we got all those Beanie Babies. We I think that. We, yeah. I think we did get them all. I think we got them all. So. Yeah. And um, so, and Bridget's not going with us. Sorry. She's she's got other things she's has has to do, but Lisha's going with us. Yeah, let's do so. So we'll have a good time. She's the one that comes and does only one project. Yeah, she does one thing. But she, she does beautiful work. And she does a lot of crafts too. Yeah. She does pretty much all the stuff you do, doesn't mm -hmm. she? Well, I'm trying to be more like Lisha. Well not Yeah, we quite. all should be more like Lisha. <laughs> not quite. I have to have more than one project at a time, but she finishes minutes. though. Yeah, she does. She she's finishes. like, you know, she's like, I'm gonna do it. She does it, moves on to the next thing. I want to be so, more like Lisha. I want to be more like. Also, want to be more like Fauna. You know, Fauna's cool. Yes, I love Fauna. <laughs> um, shout out. So I watch Floss Tube every single night. That's all I watch. Every now and then I'll watch something on Netflix, but I've watched Floss Tube. So my shout outs. I took notes this time so I could do this appropriately. So some of the new people I've watched lately include Addicted Sisters, which they've been around for a while, and we talk, you know, people talk about them. But it's Nancy and Laura. But I have to say that Poppy, the Siamese cat that you um, featured on one of your um, videos, I absolutely love Siamese cats, and that was a sweet, sweet, sweet kitten. So another one is Felicity Stitches. Felicity Stitches, uh, Jen, she was showing some of the things that she uses to help her stitch. And she showed the Yachtasum, it's the magnifiers with the light on it. I ordered one, I love it. I used it to stitch that uh, Purple Martin apiary piece that I've been so excited about. And um, it makes a big difference, I love that thing. I took a picture of myself with the three times magnify <laughs> magnification. And sent it to Teresa. I told, I'm like, look, this is amazing. She said she's not going to sit with me in any of the retreats. <laughs> I will. I said I'd follow her around. But it's really good. And she also, I, I watched her video and then I went to Amazon and spent way more money than I should have. But thank you, Jen, at Felicity Stitches. Um, Cheryl McKinney, I've watched her videos and she was talking about going to the auction and how... I have had the exact same experience. I'm watching, ready for something to happen. You turn and get distracted and turn around and somebody's bought what you wanted. So I completely feel you there, Cheryl. And then she also showed Beggar's Night, which I have had these in my shop. But when she showed that, I'm like, I've got to stitch all of those. That's Threadwork um, Primitives, Beggar's Series. I'm going to do those. 
Um, Amy loves toads. I love Amy loves toads. She's so sweet. And I'm, I'm like you. I like animals more than people sometimes too. Not I like them. I'm less afraid of animals than I am of people. That's the way you phrased it. And your finish on the uh, Frosty Forest was absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is Kismet Stitches. If you haven't watched her, she is so sweet. She is so funny. I love to watch her. She's very, I wrote down, very joyful. And she is. I just think she's a sweetheart. And if you've um, watched many of the different floss tubers, you've heard her name because she's very generous and very kind to people. Um, and another one that I started watching, and I actually binge-watched all of her videos about um, three days ago, was Kinder Rambling. She's in Florida. She's a kindergarten teacher. I think she has nine or ten videos, maybe eleven videos. And um, she's really, they're all short videos, but she stitches a lot of the same things that I like. Um, and, it's, you know, it's a really good, interesting she keeps you very interested in what she's stitching, and she's very sweet. So I enjoyed watching her videos. Um, that's my shout-outs. Who do you like to watch? Well, I'm new to Floss Tube. Jivers told me about it, but I haven't been watching much of it. I've been so telling I'm, about it for two years. I know. So I've, I've, who I've been, been, been binge-watching this week has been Jennifer. So I'm on um, I have a fan. <laughs> 16 out of 19. Yeah, so I'm almost done with her, and I've watched several of Vana's, but I used to watch Vana's how-to videos. I made all, uh, several of her little project pouches and stuff, so I've been, I watched a few of hers, and Kitten Stitcher, and then The Lady with the Sheep. Farm Girl, Michelle. Farm Girl, Michelle. No. I watched some of hers, and that, I'm, yeah, I love I'm getting into it. I have, I, what happened was my internet went out, I, I, and I borrowed internet from my mother, um, and my brother had to come put in a booster so that we could, I could have in my house so that I could have internet. That's why I've been able to start watching. Um, cause my TV doesn't get internet. I mean, it can, but it, it just wasn't getting it. And so I'd have to do it on my tablet and I'd have to lay in the bedroom next to the wall to get to the internet. So now I can sit in the <laughs> living room and actually watch stuff. So we're, it's getting better. Yeah. And when I build my house, I'm building a house. She's building a house. Hopefully within the next year, I'll be have a, have a house. I'll have internet in my house. You'll have a craft room. And I'll have a huge craft room. That's right. I can't wait for that. You're going to host the crafting. I'll start hosting the crafting. That's exciting. Yep. So, well, I um, what is one of your absolute favorite things that you've cross-stitched that you're most proud of? I am most proud of my yellow, uh, Rose of Sharon. That was beautiful. It turned out beautiful. And it was pre, it's a mirabilia, right? Yeah, mirabilia. And it's pre uh, beading. So there was, all, no, there was no beading whatsoever on it. It took me, I think, 10 years to do it. Really? It was a long time. I'd start it, and I'd stop it, and I'd start it, and I'd stop it. I'd, and I finished it, and I love it. And then, um, what was the other one that I did that I, oh, the, um, the Psalms 23 that I did for Vaughn. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. That is, I love the border on the that The border. One. And we'll have to get that up here and show it. Yeah, and the, the thing is, that uh, was one of my first big projects, and I turned it 90 degrees and stitched the border, and then <laughs> I turned it back, it. and it was the long border, and, of course, I had to pull it out and put it back in. Oh, and that's got, like, the pastoral scene at the bottom. At the bottom, and it's a whoever designed it, I don't remember who designed it, did a beautiful job of making it look realistic at the bottom with the sheeps and the heels and everything. And it's really gorgeous. We'll have to look at that. So we'll bring it Those up. Those are my one. two most proud of things. I've yeah. done a lot of things that I'm proud of. She's stitching on Lady of the Flag. Tell, her, the tell flag. them about your Lady of the Flag deal. So I bought, I went to Hobby Lobby. It was 2000, what, we were at JCJC, so it's either 2006, 2007. I went through Hobby Lobby, and you know how they have the, the, they'll have the projects at the front, and they had the Our Lady of the Flag with the fabric and the beads and the threads for like, it was like 5 or $10. It was really cheap. Yeah. And I said, well, you know, at the very least, I'll buy it for the, the threads. <laughs> and then I decided I was going to do it, so I started stitching. Last year at the Franklin Retreat. At the Franklin Retreat. I started stitching it. Now I started stitching it at the Franklin Retreat. No. Yeah. Cause at the Orange Beach Retreat. Okay. I started stitching it at the Orange Beach Retreat on the linen that came with it, which was this drabby brown linen. And she's got this creamy dress. And then at the Franklin Retreat, 
after I'd done, That's you right. know, like, I don't know, three, four hundred stitches, they all talked me into buying this beautiful blue fabric. <laughs> and now I'm back to where I was last year. <laughs> last year. So I'm, she's one of my major projects that I'm working on. I, my goal is to actually finish her in a year, not ten. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and I've done a lot of work on her. Um, but you have to be careful because it's that creamy, and then I've got a little bit of chronic in there, and the beading. That's the new part for me is the beading part. I'm, I'm trying to decide. I want to do like Lisha and bead as I go. Yeah. But I get hung up in my beads a lot. So. And you don't stitch. You stitch in hand like I, I stitch do. in hand. Yeah. I don't stitch in a, a Q snap, but I think for this one, I think I'm gonna get a Q snap for this one because yeah. my arm gets tired of. Flipping the fabric, flipping the fabric, flipping the fabric, trying to get underneath. And that would work with that. Yeah. So, so. I think I'm And it usually, you know, I think Aiden, you're supposed to use them. I don't know. I don't know. Teresa always, says there are no rules. I always stitch in hand. I mean, I, when we first learned, we first learned in hoops, but yeah. it was too much trouble to move it. And so. man, I can remember that first motif. I never finished that one because I got so many knots. Yeah. But, well, I'm glad you joined me. Thank you. So, Everybody tell Sharon she needs to do her own video. I will. I think I'm going to start right after the the um, retreat. Yeah. Because we both had blogs. We we yeah. need to start doing our. I have my blog. blog. I, I do my blog. I, what happens is I do my blog in January, and then I'll hit it about March. <laughs> and I'll and in January I'll say I'm gonna post once a month, and then it's like January, March, July. Because July I'm usually not working. Yeah. So I I try to hit hit it a lot now, and that that's what I just last night took all my pictures of everything that I've completed so far, so that I could do my blog while they were taking their tests. But I couldn't do it while they were taking their tests. I had to deal with um, my online class and. Um, some drama there, but no, of course, you know, of course, but, um, I'm going to go, it's a hard, it's hard for me to post pictures here in the country because our internet's really slow. We have, it is horrible. it's horrible. We have phone lines that are from 1976. So, you know. And they're on the ground. Yeah. I just learned that. Been on the ground since 1976. They just throw it out on the ground. I'm like, no wonder. So if a squirrel stands on it, our internet's bad. Right. So I usually... And I pay the same as the people who have it either underground or up on a pole. Exactly. Well, I, um, I'm, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm with her. I'm with her. Like, right now, if you call me on my phone, it's like, and you have to talk through that. And I don't know why. I've got to call the phone company yeah. again. But, um, anyway, so I take and do the blogging, and then I go to work and upload all the pictures. Yeah, I do the same that thing. long to load pictures at work. Yeah, I do the same thing with this. So, I do all the editing, and then I take it to work and upload it. So, so that's what I'm going to try to do. I got to. I use Jing usually for my videos for work, but they're only a 15 minute limit. So I got to check and see if I can use um, what's on my computer. I see what's on my computer to use. Yeah, your cell phone. I can do that. A lot of people do the, the cell, cell phone. phone. Mm -hmm. okay. so. All right. Well, thank you for visiting with us. And we will. I will be back probably. I'm trying to get, I know it keeps saying every week, but... Again, it's just been crazy. Oh, food update. So, foodimentary. Yeah. Everybody's, you know, me and my foodimentary. So, today was catfish day. Did you eat it? I don't like catfish. Oh. I'm not a normal southerner. I don't like sweet tea and I don't like catfish. But, I went to Shrimp Basket and I got a, a catfish po' boy and ate half of it. Tell them what you had yesterday. Praline. Because I couldn't, I was going to make them and then I got lazy, but she went and found me pralines and brought them to me at 11 o'clock at night. That's See? what, that's what sisters are for. That's, <laughs> so, that's what Sharon does. Yes, that's what she does. <laughs> she makes everybody happy. Exactly. So, and then um, what's coming up tomorrow, tomorrow is vanilla pudding day. Okay. Wednesday is. He's tapioca. Tapioca, tapioca pudding is on Thursday. Thursday. So I did. I was gonna make tapioca pudding before we left at like seven o'clock in the morning. I was gonna make it, and I don't know. I'm crazy, but I have to do what I plan to do. Um, but Teresa told me just to buy tapioca pudding. We don't eat tapioca pudding. No. I've never had tapioca pudding. Uh, is tapioca? It like a, is it like a rice pudding? Or? I, have no I don't idea. know. I've never. We're had We're gonna it have it on the road. Okay. I got four. So. Sounds good. And then Saturday's my tie day. Ooh. Yay. So. And we're going to the jewelry, so yeah, they'll make us one. Maybe so. they will. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, and we will see you soon. Bye.